So the next thing I want to model is the lid. But when I have a closer look on the inside with the help of the analysis tool, and I zoom in a little bit, I noticed that it would be nice to have a small ridge to support a lid. So what I want to do is create a little bit of a support and I'm going to do that by drawing a small rectangle in my pot component and simply spin that around with the help of the revolve command. So I'm going to go to my pot component. I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to do that from the front. I start my sketch with the help of the automatic snap function on the seam line of my teapot. I want the lid to be five millimeters thick. Then I go to the other tab and I can just simply drag. I just want to make sure it is inside my the wall of the teapot. Then I simply press stop sketch and then with the help of the revolve tool I select the profile and then Fusion wants to have an axis and for that I simply use the axis of my origin point that is going to be the center of the revolution and you'll notice that Fusion assumes that I want to do a cut operation. That's not the case. I want to do a join operation. And when I'm happy with this shape and the result, I simply press OK. So now I'm going to draw the lid of the teapot. So I'm going to do that by creating a new component. Calling it lit. I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to do that on my front plane. And I'm going to start by drawing a line from the origin point all the way up. And I press escape. And I'm going to turn this line into a construction line. Then I'm going to draw a line again and I use the construction line as a, a snap point. And you can see the blue cross. Then I'm going to go till here. I want to have a bit of a clearance for my lid, so I'm not going to go completely to the edge. And now I want to create a spline from there till there and then till here till there and a tick then I will need a straight line from this point to this point and you will see a solid closed surface is created because Fusion gives me now the Amber surface. So once again, you can play around a bit with the shape if you're not happy with it by just simply dragging the black dots. And one thing I want to do, I want this also to be round, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a fillet. So I fill it between this and this line. And like that. And I simply press return. Now I want this to be a bit higher, I think. Yeah, that looks good. I'm happy with this shape. So now I can just simply stop my sketch. It's going to go to my orthographic view. Zoom in a little bit. 
And now once again, I'm going to create a revolve operation. So Fusion is asking for the profile. So that's going to be my sketch. For the axis, now I simply select my construction line. New body is selected, so that's great. So now I'm just going to switch off my analysis tool. And I'm going to go to my top feature of my browser. I'm going to tick that box. 